I got in a car accident. Good morning. It is about 9.30 and I wanted to leave my house at 10, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> no, I have to leave by 10 because I need to get ready to, I have to run some errands and first I have to stop by the doctor. So um, yeah, that's what I gotta do first. Okay, so in my last video, I went over everything that I got from Gucci. I knew I had other stuff. Well, I actually forgot that I got this. So I got a package the next day and this was in it. This is um, some serum. I still didn't even open it. But um, I'm thinking that the lipstick is gonna come. For some reason, it was just in a different package, just like this. So yeah, I think this is all I got now that I think about it, cause I really don't know since it was in different packages. And I'm gonna use this today just to try it out. I do wanna go to Sephora and they do have this makeup at Sephora, so I'll kinda look at it. Um, I probably will try to stay away from the nudes because I know I bought one and I don't know which one it was. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to, speaking of um, going to Sephora. So the last time I went over there because Sephora is located inside the mall. And the last time I went there was the day before I had surgery. And I, I got in a car accident. It wasn't like a real, real accident, but I thought it was because I was talking on the phone um, to my sister while it happened. Like she saw everything. I'm going, I'm about to make my turn. I'm about to go into the parking garage, which I usually never do, but since they don't want to do valet, that's where I had to go. So I'm turning to go into the parking garage and I'm like slowing down, you know, a parking garage, you slow down, let people go, whatever. And this car behind me just hits me. So I'm like, I was annoyed because it was the day before surgery. I'm like, I don't feel like dealing with all this right now when I'm gonna be healing and you know, just everything. So I was just more annoyed because of that. You know, if everyone's okay, it's kind of like, okay, I got insurance, you know that whatever's messed up is gonna get fixed. But I was just annoyed at the fact that I had surgery the next day. So yeah, we of course we were both okay. It was like, I heard it, I kinda moved forward, my sister saw him FaceTime, and I was like, you know, like somebody hit me, okay. So I get out the car, and it's a um, younger black dude, and when I say young, I don't mean like a kid, I mean like under 25, so yeah, he gets out smelling like weed. So I'm like already, I'm just annoyed. I expect to come around to my car. Like when we're getting out at the same time, I expect to come around to my car and just see my back bumper just dented in. That's what I was thinking. So I just already got out the car with kind of an attitude. Like what, like you hit me. Cause that's the first thing I said when I got out the car, I'm like, you hit me. And he was like, well, you, you had room to go. I was like, I had to, I had to calm myself down. I really got, I really turned into an auntie that day because I was like, boy, it don't matter. If I have room to go and I don't go, that don't mean go through me. Like, it does not matter. If I was sitting there, you sit behind me. Like, what do you mean? At this point, I still didn't even really pay attention to my car because I felt what I felt and I heard what I heard, so I'm just thinking my car is hit. So I'm talking to him, so we go to my, we looking at my car and it's like, nothing is on my car. Like, not a scratch, not a dent, nothing. So I was like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I don't know. I don't know if my car is just like really durable or what, but there was nothing on my car. So, of course, I'm like relieved and I'm looking at his car. He had like a charger or something. So I took pictures of his car and license plate and all that just in case I went home and was kind of overlooking it because I was kind of in a rush because I was going into the mall. I know I take forever to 
brush out my lashes and I only got 30 minutes. I'm looking at my car and yeah, there's still nothing there too. I got a car wash and everything and it's still nothing on my car. Oh, this feels nice. It has a smell though. I don't know. It literally feels like lotion. And this is called Silk Priming Serum. This feels good. This is nice. I'm gonna do a natural face because I don't really have, um, I only really wanna use the, use the Gucci stuff and I don't have that much. So I'm gonna pretty much just do a natural face. So yeah, and that was that. And it was kind of like awkward cause I did end up seeing them like inside the mall and everything, but I didn't care. I, I, I did get out with attitude and I did have to untee him really quick because he kind of like low key was like, Would you have room to go? looks like it I think I picked the right color yes this is the natural finish fluid foundation from Gucci and this feels good so far mmm that was my little situation that I have that was right before surgery I kept forgetting to bring it up because I've only been talking about surgery and everything the past couple of videos and I still don't want to put makeup under here just because I don't know I just feel like I just really want to let it heal so oh I got a bump right there I don't like whatever you know when you get your hair braided they use that stuff to keep them together it flakes up so easily on my hair so it's like damn of ruins my look I like this this is just a thin layer like if I was going out I would put a lot more on but this is just a daytime look so let's set it with the powder okay. so cute let's see if this is my color though Ooh. okay okay Mm, this is a real natural finish. I like it. This is like summer makeup because I could put a light, light amount of this on like I just did right now. And it'll have me looking good. But I'm going to add some concealer just because I think I'm just gonna put on shades honestly but um I'm still gonna add my bottom mascara because I wanted to try this and I always add bottom mascara. The next time I get my lashes done, I'm gonna try the bottom lashes. I never have tried them because I've never liked them on anyone that I've seen them on, but my lash tech has been doing them lately on people, so. We just said we're gonna go ahead and try them on me because I'm really consistent with my lashes and they're always full. So I wanna see how it'll look with them matching because like when I leave my house, I notice a lot when I don't put on bottom, bottom mascara. Other people, I probably don't, but I do. I'm just like, I look like, I don't know. I just like top and bottom, but I usually just put a lot of mascara on the bottom. So yeah, this mascara is really good. Um, even though I might not get to use it if I'm gonna be having bottom lashes. Oh, let me put some of the moisturizer on. I'm debating if I even wanna try this lipstick because it's red. And I'm like, do I feel like putting on a red right now at 9 a.m. on a Monday? Like, 
Maybe. Hold on. Ooh, wait, my lip. Uh uh, hold on, hold on now. I didn't even put any lip liner on or anything. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I'm going to wear this or not. This is cute. I like this, but I don't know. Kind of looking like I came home from the club. I mean, it isn't bad. I don't even know what I'm about to put on you guys because, oh, uh, I got six minutes before I wanted to leave. <laughs> Should I wear this at 9 a.m. to go to the doctor's appointment? Well, not the doctor, I'm going to see my surgeon, but, um, what <laughs> I'm just, oh, I have a mask on damn this is about to be wiped off by the time I get there but you guys got to see how it looks and I'll show you guys the nude whenever it comes in the mail um, the nude I could probably pair with this gloss because um, until I figure out how else I want to use this gloss I'm not gonna use it today though because I don't have any eyeshadow on or anything um, yeah but you guys see how the red looks and this red is called goldie it's called goldie red i guess yeah so i'm gonna go see what i can put on because i don't know okay oh y'all hear that like i'm stepping on stuff my closet is not as clean as it was when I showed you guys the first time. But I'm going to start trying on stuff because I don't even know what I'm going to be able to put on. And I don't want to be late. So now I'm running late. I just put on my Celine glasses and I put on this little dress that I have had in my closet that's long sleeve. Um, the zipper comes way down so I was able to pull it up and then, you know, stick my hands inside. So. I got something on um, and it's easy because it's a dress so I can go to the bathroom quickly. Um, and then I just put on my Louis Vuitton boots and I'm going to carry my little Louis backpack. And I took everything out of it because usually when I carry that little backpack, this one right here, I fill it up with so much stuff and it's super, super heavy. So I don't want to be carrying anything heavy still. So I took everything out and it's literally like just my wallet. Make it work, strike a pose. Make it work, deal this. Make it work, strike a pose. I pull up, hop out, then I swerve. Do my two step, my little cat won't make it work. Make it work, deal this. Make it work, strike a pose. Make it work, deal this. Make it work, strike a pose. My nurse said that my incisions look good. I was kind of worried because some of them were still open and I feel like it's been a while, but. She said this is a more serious surgery and in that area, it's just like more tension was there to pull the skin together. So it kind of wants to, you know, go apart, but everything looks good so far. I'm waiting for her to come back right now and let me know what I should be doing to heal quicker. But everything else? Yes, okay, I'm out of there. It was real quick. Like I said, they said everything looks good. I was just worried. Well, I wasn't worried, but it's just like, dang, like how long is this gonna take to freaking heal all the way up? But um, gotta be patient. You got to be patient. I can only have the top off when it's not super hot. So the summertime, my top probably will never be down. Feels so good. I'm about to head and get me a juice right now. And then probably, I don't know, um, either to Sephora or to Target first. I don't know which one I'm gonna go to first, but we'll see after I get my juice. I forgot my um my lipstick though. That's so annoying. But I'm gonna go to Sephora, so maybe I can find something that I can put back on my lips for later. But I got the um the pineapple kale smoothie 
So, um, so this girl, uh, she just asked me if I was a YouTuber and now she's like, won't stop looking at me because I got this big old camera and then she just came out. What the fuck? He came so close to my car. Did y'all see that? And I already told y'all how that dude hit me. Okay. I need to get out of here. But, um, I'm trying to edit a picture to post on my other, um, Instagram page right now. Um... Uh, yeah, this is kale and pineapple. It's called the stretch and flex. It's pretty good. I probably won't drink all this, but I just got a big one because it was cheaper. So I just got it. Yeah. So I'm just trying to sit here, edit this photo and plan out my day because I'm not sure where I want to go first, but I think it's going to be Sephora. Oh my god yeah i don't like to be parked right here or maybe i'm just tripping okay Ooh. okay all right sincerely tina how do you like it <laughs> it feels it feels good i didn't wear the right thing oh, to okay. <laughs> to come in you really sink in <laughs> i don't know if i like this one and then you'll feel the, um, you want to Thank you, yes. <laughs> um, I mean, it feels comfy, but if I roll, yep, oh my gosh, it's hard to roll. <laughs> like. Yes, so, okay, so then you're kind of telling me you probably like 100 hybrid that's easy to move around on. Yeah, I, um, I'm a, I hear that I'm a wild sleeper, honestly. But <laughs> I think I'm more so like on my sides. Okay. I do want to be a back sleeper though, because they say yeah. that's the best way to sleep. And it does feel comfortable actually okay, to be on my back in this bed. In... And what's this pillow? This is a medium height. Like this feels really good. I'm going to lower you and now I'm going to raise your legs first. Okay. And then call this the wellness position. So my feet are going up. What is your channel? Like lifestyle or yeah. lifestyle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I it would feel help seeing our, our M1 missing lady with a perfectly straight spine. Uh huh. Her hips are down, but the, the mattress is kind of curled. How do I know what, like, when I feel comfortable, does it save? Because I'm like, no. It, you, once you get off, uh -huh. the material goes back to its original form. No, I'm saying how you have the legs up and all that. Oh, you can save it, yeah. Oh, okay. So you would push um, that these. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then there, you like massage? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so I am back. I look hot and sweaty. It was so hot outside today. Um, yeah, so I ended up cutting my um, Aaron short. Hold on, y'all a little bit too low right there. Um, I ended up cutting my Aaron short because one, <laughs> my bad if y'all see a little booty okay because this dress is a lot shorter than i thought it was before i left the house i had a lot more on my to-do list because where i was there's like a crate and barrel over there and a west elm but i just got really tired y'all don't mind the flakes in the whiteness on my hair because i don't know when she braided my hair that's the only thing i do not like um whatever we'll get rid of that later but right now i just want to show you what i ended up going so i went to go as you saw i'm looking for a new mattress at first i was gonna buy a whole new bed but then i was like there's really nothing wrong with the furniture in my room except the tv my tv i literally had um since atlanta and i haven't lived in atlanta 
for over five years. So that TV has to go. It's just, it's an outside TV. Like it's thick all around the room and it's just, I'm just tired of it. I really want to um, frame TV to go in my bedroom. So I'm going to get rid of that for sure. So I was just like, I don't think I'm going to get a new bed for this condo because I don't imagine myself living here like, I mean, who knows, but I'm just saying like, it's not gonna be no another five years. I don't think, I don't know. I, Cause I do love it here, but at the same time, I just imagine myself moving before them. Um, still not sure if like I'm ready to do a house right now or whatever, but I'll figure it out when it comes. If I'm not gonna get a new bed, I still do need a new mattress. And so that's why I went to mattress shopping today. And I was trying out, when I Googled what was the best mattress, it said like the Casper and the, you know what I mean? But I'm thinking that's the best cheap mattress. Cause the Casper is like $1,500 and I slept, I mean, laid on it and everything. Like it was, it was okay. It wasn't like, Oh my God, this is the number one mattress I've ever laid on. It was just kind of like, okay. Like now when I went into Tempur-Pedic, now that is something else, okay? Cause when I laid on that, like I literally could have closed my eyes, okay? Like she made it so, because obviously I'm like curvy. So what happens is when I'm laying down, my lower back hurts because like, you know, my I'm laying on my butt and then my back is kind of bent because you know, the spine isn't straight. So she like put my feet up, saw how I was like, put my feet up, like elevated the feet a little bit and then elevated like my shoulders and oh, it just felt so good, y'all. Y'all could tell, I'm like, damn, she is old because, but look, I'm trying to preserve my body. Like I need to have, I need to be sleeping good, okay? Um, not that my bed is so uncomfortable now, but I just know I don't have the best mattress. So I'm like, I'm just done with this mattress that I have right now. So I'm going to get that. And I think I'm going to get, um, I know I'm going to get the Tempur-Pedic. I'm gonna, I need to call them as well. But um, that's a $6,000 bed, y'all. Like, not even a bed, the mattress. I was like, I knew it was expensive, but I didn't know $6,000. But I mean, when you think about it, it's like, I've spent that on like clothes and stuff. So when it's like something for my body and sleep, like I need that. And I love how it like moves and everything. Like that's two separate things buying the bottom of the bed or whatever. You guys will see when I get it. But um, you know, sometimes I'm just in my bed and I do sometimes edit, which I shouldn't be. I should always do it in my office. Cause I actually get um, videos done quicker when I'm sitting like at a desk. But um, sometimes I do end up in my bed. Um, I don't know, just chilling and editing or whatever, but like I could like lean it up in case I want to. If I had that right now, it would be so perfect because you guys know I've been sleeping. Um, I had to sleep sitting up like elevated just so all the swelling can go out my body, you know, um, and I still do sleep like that. I don't, I didn't even really ask if I'm still supposed to be sleeping like that. But anyways, I really want to get that mattress. Um, yeah, so like for my bedroom, it'll just be like little new things. So I'm just gonna get a mattress and a TV and then um, decorative stuff. Anyways, so that's what I did today. And I was also supposed to go get some decorative things for my coffee table and my shelf and also my bar cart because I really wanna just like, I want everything done. Like I want everything done in my house excluding my office because that's gonna just like take time but everything as far as like my room my bathrooms my balconies done before summer because that's where other people are my office area no one's really gonna go in there um at some point i wouldn't mind it being like kind of a guest room i don't know i'm gonna figure out like a bed situation i don't know i figure it out when it happens like i don't really have anyone really stay the night over here anymore like i used to because one we don't go out so <laughs> but it's gonna probably change this summer for real because i cannot wait to get out that's a fact but sephora was right next to both of the mattress stores so i just ran in there it didn't have um they didn't have everything that i wanted there was a perfume that i went to go get um, I'm probably gonna have to go to Saks for that. And I just didn't feel like going to another mall once I was done over there doing the mattresses and all that. I was just kind of like, eh. 
we'll do that another time but i did go so i ordered this online and i never got it i don't know if i was reimbursed or what but this is the fenty skin um night cream and i never got it this came out a while ago too but yeah i never checked on it as soon as it came out that's when i ordered it and i don't know how I guess this is a case because all her stuff is like reusable so this is the cream right here and you'll just put it in this little thing i'll leave and you can get refills i didn't get the refill because i don't know i just wanted to try it first and then i just got two more um lip glosses i got mauve wives this looks super cute i really like her um lip balms and these are the cream ones so they're more like a lipstick this is so pretty i can't wait to wear this and then um, I got one called Fruit Snacks and it's more of like a reddish, but it doesn't go on really red. It's it's still like a lip gloss, you know what I mean? So it says cream, it gives a little bit more color, but yeah, I can't wait to put this on, this is so cute. And then what I mainly went for was the Fenty Eavesdrop, which is the new foundation, because when I go out, that's the foundation that I use, not this, the, um, her regular foundation in like the glass bottle. I use that all the time. I know a lot of people didn't like Fenty um, darker skin girls because they said that it made them look orange, but I don't know if I'm kind of an orange brown because I like it. It's like perfect for me. Maybe the powder that I put over it, I don't know, it might be. But um, so I got a sample and because number 20 is the one that i got so if you're like my skin color number 20 go with number 20. so i had to get that delivered because they were sold out so i just got the little sample right here and i'm gonna use that you know in the meantime but it felt good like on my hand and it's a super little container i don't know why but it's supposed to be more light that gucci that i put on earlier though for it to be like a super nice foundation and expensive that can work as like li a lighter um everyday type of foundation not like a night one see this that rihanna that is really thick like i don't really like to wear that in the daytime the other one i'm telling you about in the gold i mean in the glass bottle um i like to wear that when i'm going out because it's a heavier um coverage but yeah, so that's everything that I got from Sephora. My mom's birthday is coming up and I have plans like a little makeover. It's not gonna be fully done and not a makeover, but you know, just the things that I do for myself, I'm gonna get done for her. So I have her appointments all set and I'll start that this week because her first appointment is this week, which is lashes because lashes are like the main thing. We're gonna start with that this week and you guys will see everything that I get done for her. I have to call her, make sure she don't get her nails done because I kind of wanted her to go to my guy to get her nails done because yeah, we just want to switch up the shape. You know, let's, let's see, let's see. That will probably be next week. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I guess I'm kind of excited because I want to see how she looks and see if she likes it because my mom is somebody who doesn't really, well, I'm not going to talk about it right now because that's going to be in another vlog. Okay, so let me bag it up. All right, so I'm just gonna end this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make it work, strike a pose. I pull up, hop out, then I swerve. Do my two-step, my little cat won't make it work.